I say bananas, you say peppers, and today I think we're going to be unboxing some of the most exciting uh, little tiny miniatures that we have ever unboxed together on this channel. How many times have I said that? But today we have a new mini item that I really didn't even know existed. It's not like a mystery box or like a mini brands or anything like that. I actually don't know if I'll be able to like compare this, like the real full size item to these miniatures today. But I was just so shocked that Instagram actually recommended this shop to me like on my what is it even called on Instagram it used to be like the trending page and I know it's not the for you page that's TikTok but every great once in a while Instagram will actually show me something that I didn't know existed that I'm genuinely interested in and that's what we have here today we have miniature books but like not the dollhouse version because I have seen that and some of those are pretty cool too where it just looks like an actual like miniature book but there's not any actual like pages or anything in it. This is like you could actually read these novels just teeny tiny and I'm kind of curious to also see like how feasible it is to actually read these books. Anyway you guys let's slice it open. Um, I know what one of the items in here for sure, but the other items are gonna be somewhat of a surprise. Um, so this company is called Miniature Books USA. I will link you guys to their Etsy shop in the info box down below. They have tons of miniature books, lots of like classic novels, which I love. That's what we're gonna be looking at some of today. Let's just cut open the box and I'll show you guys like the thing that I knew was coming first. I'm hoping that's like right on top. Also, we may have to pause. <gasps> Can I finish this video in 17 minutes? I am right in the middle of dyeing some halo hair extensions and I cannot wait to see how they turn out, but I just used a box dye and that is like the stinkiest, why is box dye like that? I don't, it's like, it's, it's so smelly. This is what it looks like on the inside. We are greeted with beautiful purple wrapping paper and it has little sparkly flecks in it. And oh, yay. Okay, this is right on top. This is what I saw. And oh my god, I was so excited because this is literally, is this my favorite book of all time? Maybe. Definitely within my top five books of all time. And I feel like there's like no merch for this. Nobody talks about this book anymore. And I sometimes wonder if this is still like a uh, mandatory reading. Like this was like the last book that I ever read when I was a senior in high school, like for a school project, I should say. And I feel like that's another reason why I always have fond memories of this book. Quick, any guesses as to what it is? Honestly, my shirt is a little bit of a hint. I couldn't think of the word hint. Um, you guys, I, honestly, I've probably talked about this book quite a bit. It is Aldous Huxley's Brave New World. I love this book. So yeah, that's why the shirt, uh, The Doors, is actually named after another one of Aldous Huxley's books called The Doors of Perception. Just a little random doors fact. Uh, but look at this. So it actually has a whole dust jacket you can put it, is that what this is called? What is this called? Like when super fancy books have these like sleeves so that you can like put them on a shelf and not actually get the cover or the binding or anything damaged. Look at that. Now, I am curious and I honestly like should have just asked them um, because I, okay, so the story is, I saw this book, it popped up on like my For You page, whatever that is on Instagram, but it wasn't out yet. So I sent them a DM and I was like, oh my God, am I missing it somewhere on Etsy? Or when will the mini copy of Brave New World be coming out? And then they messaged me back and said that they'd save me a copy. Um, and then they just ended up uh, gifting me 
full of these magical books. I should have asked them um because I don't recognize this particular Brave New World copy like how it looks with the font face and all of that jazz. I actually think that this originally came out in the 30s believe it or not. This is the cover that like I recognize that I remember um uh, reading in high school and I'm kind of curious like was this actually like the cover the font face and everything like that was it based on like an actual printing maybe like the first edition of this book maybe this is like what the original cover looked like because doesn't this look very like 30s or am I just being <laughs> am I being silly oh my gosh wait okay well but honestly it's like miniature because I'm curious like how many pages is like a normal printing of Brave New World because this is 692 pages but I feel like when I was in high school I read this book in like two days I could not put it down. Now I would argue this is like totally legible. You could definitely read this like seriously if you wanted to like take this with you like a teeny tiny like how cool is this? Like I feel like this is like just a cool thing to like put in your purse or your backpack or whatever just as like a little conversation piece or can you imagine like sitting on a train or a subway or something and you're just like reading this teeny tiny little book? Ah! Um, yeah, so this is just so, so cool. I don't think I still have my copy from high school, which I'm like, why did I not keep that? I feel like I keep like every scrap of paper that ever comes into my life, but then like, I don't know, randomly sometimes I feel like I do like just purge things. Uh, and then I end up always, always regretting it. Up next. Oh, okay. I think I know what this is. Um, cause they offered to send me other items besides just Brave New World. And they suggested much to my delight, uh, that they would send some of their horror books. Uh, because you know, tis the season. It's like Halloween. I almost said October the 1st, but that doesn't make any sense. Cause there is actually an October October the 1st, but I always think of like September as like an extra month of October, you know, cause like spooky season has already started and this is definitely like the, oh my gosh. Yeah, this is so, so cool. This is definitely like the other top pick that I had in mind was Dracula. And look at how awesome this is. So the display box, that's what I'm going to choose to call it, is slightly different because like, look at all of this awesome like foiling design. Look, there's Bram Stoker on the top. And yeah, once again, it has been forever since I read Dracula. And I really hope you guys are going to be able to see the foiling. It's like silver metallic and also like hollow. Like, look at how awesome that is. And um, when we got these books in the mail the other day, I was talking to Dogman and I was asking him, I was like, isn't it wild how like Dracula is three volumes? For whatever reason, I was thinking in my mind that Dracula was a shorter book than Brave New World. But then we started talking and I was kind of like wondering if the Dracula version was going to have uh, like engravings or illustrations in it that might take up some pages. Whereas like Brave New World, that is a book with no pictures. So yeah, it is all um, Dracula, but it just had to be split up into three volumes. So this is cover number one. Let's see if there's a different picture or anything on cover number two. So it's like um, a slightly different colorway. We have the details in black, but the actual like binding is in red. And then the very last one is black as well. So there we go. All three next to each other. Oh my god, you guys, that was so off key. So I'm looking and I honestly don't see any pictures. So my memory just must be failing me. Um, so all of the print is the same size. So like definitely I would argue 100% 
readable. Let's see what's next. Oh, we have two more. So this is, oh my gosh, they also have just a dot com. There are some stickers here. I feel like I always find everything via Etsy. And honestly, I'm not sure that like small businesses really prefer that because I know that like Etsy fees just keep going up and up and up and up. Um, so maybe if you're interested in their items, check out just their website versus their Etsy store. All right, you guys, last two books. One of my childhood obsessions uh, was this. Oh, it just fell out of the dust jacket. Dust, dust. I almost called it a dusk jacket. Welcome to the night. We have dusk jackets. That also sounds like a really awesome article of clothing, but I digress. Um, Ichabod Crane, my childhood passion. Uh, loved Legend of Sleepy Hollow. So here is uh, the classic Washington Irving. We have the Headless Horseman on the top. I am so gonna put these like on this little shelf back here because uh, these are just so, so cute to display. So here is the binding. See, this definitely looks, I'm not sure what year um, this book would have come out. And it might be comical that I'm about to say, I'm thinking like early 1800s. Am I wrong? I'm probably wrong. I'm gonna have to like insert all of the dates like up in here somewhere. I'm gonna like do a little, Wikipedia-ing. Uh, so yes, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Look at this cover. Oh my gosh. It looks so awesome. I just love how detailed. Oh my gosh. And then like, look, the little um around the page numbers on this book, we have these little like headless horseman accents. Like I just feel like for miniatures, these are so detailed. Like I feel like you can just tell a lot of love and thought went into these. Like the paper just feels super nice. Like it does feel like, you know, like a luxury leather bound book. I feel like I'm just like having a moment here, but like, you know how sometimes we look at other miniatures and you can see like some of them are just like super detailed that they almost look like the real like life-size things. And then some of them it's like, you know, they're not as detailed. I mean, this is like an actual high quality classic book. Like just everything, the look and the feel of it, it is just pure magic. And last but certainly not least, uh, let me put up these Dracula books before I do a boo-boo. Um, I still have to clean. I always say I have to clean this uh, filming room up and it's always true, but I have not had a chance to like clean everything up uh, after my latest fashion TikTok, which means there is just, there's shoes everywhere. And then I was like trying on some shoes the other day for my Snapchat story. Does anybody remember the burger shoes? Look at that, burger, cheese. I love it. So last but certainly not least, we have Edgar Allan Poe. And I think that this is Twice Told Tales. Oh no, Selected Works. What is Twice Told Tales? I feel like that's Edgar Allan Poe. Don't hit me with a rock if I'm wrong. Ooh, look at that. That looks so extra creepy. I hope that this is like translating. It looks like old wallpaper or like maybe even um, tree bark or something. It looks like really awesome and spooky. And then look at this binding. What is that? Is that a portrait of Edgar Allan Poe? Is it like a melting skeleton head? Oh my God. Okay, this cover might honestly be my favorite. Look at this. Oh my God, you guys. If y'all know me, which do you know me? Uh, if y'all know me, you know, I love skeletons and skulls. And look at this. Oh my God. I just want him to be my friend. Look at him down there. He looks like he's ready to hang out. You know what I mean? Let's come read some Edgar Allan Poe. Let's, um, just hang out in this graveyard, why not? Um, yes, so, oh my gosh, look at that. That's even like the first page, which are there any book, book people? What is, what is, I know that there's like a special name for like people that are like really into books, but like, what is this called? What is this front 
like kind of cardstocky cardboard page called, but look at that! Oh my god! Now I'm wondering if I've like missed something. <gasps> look, we have a little Edgar Allan Poe portrait. And then there we have the Smashing Pumpkins font, which I'm sure that's not what that is, but every time I look at it. So this has uh, the Fall of the House of Usher, the Pit and the Pendulum, the Premature Burial, and Shadow. Uh, and so then you open it right on up and uh, Fall of the House of Usher is first. So yeah, once again, super, super magical. You guys, I have to open the other ones again really quick. Um, cause I want to see, was there something? <gasps> oh, wait, I showed y'all this. It's kind of like sparkly though. Like, I think it's going to just show up gray on the camera. Um, but in person, the initial page just looks like, um, sparkly gray with the headless horseman on it. Was there anything for Dracula? Oh, we have blood red cardstock paper. And it does look like actually on the very first page... There is a little bit of illustration. You guys, I swear this looks like a um, jack-o'-lantern pattern that I have done so many times. <laughs> Every year on Halloween, pretty much, I always end up carving a vampire-related uh, Jack o' lantern. I always, every year, say I'm gonna do something else, and then every single year, um, I just want to do at least one vampire themed item. So yeah, that is it, you guys. <laughs> These little books are so amazing and they have tons of more titles like uh, besides this, which by the way, this is not like a paid sponsorship or anything. They were just so sweet to send over these items to me. Um, but yeah, they have tons of other like classic titles. It also looks like maybe they're gonna start doing custom books, which would be awesome. Cause then I would totally wanna get Clockwork Orange. And they have some other books that also just look like teeny tiny itty bitty, like smaller even uh, than these. And I don't know if those would really be like actually readable, legible. You guys know what I mean. Anyway, as usual, I would love to know all of you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Don't forget to check them out. Oh my God. <gasps> Perfect timing! Time to go smell the stinky box dye again. Wish me luck, you guys. Uh, every time I dye extensions using box hair dye, I feel like I lose just a couple of brain cells. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching if you're not already and you'd like to be. Hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today, and until I see you guys again, which is gonna be very, very soon, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much and I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye!